Hi there. Thanks for joining us on the third and final part of our Getting Your Business Through a Pandemic series. In part two, we talked about some ideas for proactively bringing in business during this pandemic. In this video, we'll discuss the best ways to stay in touch with your customers and some key things to let them know. We understand that not every business is able to keep their doors open under the current circumstances, but even for those that aren't, some of these tips on connecting and communicating with customers will still apply. So let's get started. The best way to begin is taking some time to plan and lay out a targeted communication strategy. With the COVID-19 pandemic ongoing, there's a lot of timely topics you may want to consider addressing. Let's go over a few of them. First, communicate your updated store and contact hours. Many businesses have had to adjust their hours to allow more time for restocking and cleaning, while others have had to shut down entirely. However your business has been affected, you'll want to address those changes so customers know when they can shop and call. Make sure to update your hours on your website and local business listings as well. Staying healthy and safe is a major concern worldwide right now, so making sure your customers know about the increased safety and cleanliness measures you've adopted is a big deal. If you're able to stay open during this crisis, customers will expect you to take the necessary precautions. You'll make them feel more comfortable shopping with you when you share those extra steps you've taken to make your store a safe environment. Along with that, you'll want to raise awareness about your contact-free shopping options. For those with pre-existing health conditions or the extra cautious, coming into your store to shop may not feel worth the risk. Highlighting your delivery and pickup options will make you a viable destination for even more customers. It goes without saying that not all your existing customers are looking to shop with you right now, but that doesn't mean that they won't need to soon. Let them know your plans. Will you be staying open or will you be reopening soon? Do you anticipate any further changes to how your business will operate over the next few weeks or months? Your customers will appreciate your openness and honesty. With more U.S. workers filing for unemployment every week, it makes sense that the demand for personal financing will also increase. To prepare for that demand, outline your in-store financing options and how customers can apply from home. As far as financing through SNAP is concerned, our online application at snapfinance.com and text to apply option are two great items to communicate. Don't forget, there are two ways to initiate text to apply. One is to send a message containing the application link to a customer's phone from your merchant portal. Two is to have customers text your merchant ID number to our SMS short code. This second method, combined with curbside pickup or delivery, lets customers know that safe shopping with you is still possible even if they have a temporarily reduced income. It's a smart move to include your merchant ID number in all your customer-facing communications to make it as quick and easy as possible for them to apply. Finally, don't shy away from sending your customers direct communications about sales or promotions. Even with all that's going on, there are customers wanting to shop with you, and keeping them informed about deals and savings will keep your business moving. Still, be sensitive to the situation. You may want to dial back the intensity of sales language in your messaging. Now, this isn't a complete list, but it should be enough to get you started thinking about what you want to communicate to your customers during this time. Next, we'll explore the best ways to deliver these messages. So, let's talk about the most effective communication channels for staying in touch with your customers and what might work best for your business. Typically, the best channel for communication is the one that reaches the biggest audience. For many small businesses, that most effective channel will be email. If you don't have an email list for your existing customers, start building one as soon as possible. You don't want to miss out on this direct line of communication and the opportunities it provides. Email is flexible and easy to use. You can send out a single email or schedule a spaced out series of emails over a period of days or weeks. How much or how little you include in each is up to you. But if you cram too much information into a single email, there's a chance that your customers will miss important details or ignore the message entirely. Do your best to write clearly and directly. Having a well-maintained presence on social media is another opportunity to communicate with customers and those who support your business. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are great for putting out timely information and getting feedback from your audience. If you don't already have a business social media presence, We'll be covering getting started with social media in an upcoming video. Different social media platforms have their own rules on how they can be used, but some guidelines are universal. First, keep messages short. 
you may only have seconds to communicate what you need as users scroll through their feeds. Second, be engaged. You don't want to make a post and forget about it. Interact with your community by responding professionally to comments and private messages. Third, post regularly. Social media is more fluid and time sensitive than traditional forms of communication. You need to be consistent for your voice to be heard through all the online clutter. It may not be as affordable as digital options like email and social media, but traditional media messaging like direct mail and print advertising can still reach people in their homes. These methods may not be as popular during this time as businesses look to cut costs, but can still be effective if you have the resources. Last but not least, every brand or business has a voice. It's the how of your communication. Your business's voice may normally be conversational and humorous or direct and informative. Regardless of how you typically present yourself, it's a good idea to be especially sensitive and understanding in your coronavirus-related communications. Even if you have to convey some bad or unfortunate news, do your best to keep your overall voice and tone positive. Talking to your customers in a way that's helpful and hopeful will leave a good and lasting impression. Well, that wraps up the third and final part of our Getting Your Business Through a Pandemic series. We hope these tips will help you as you keep your customers informed during this unusual and difficult time. If this was useful for you, let us know by clicking the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when our new videos go live. Stay tuned for more small business content from Snap. Thanks for watching.